there guys welcome to a new vlog today is saturday it is march something but i don't know what <laughs> i'm in my classroom right now as you can tell i'm wearing my impact driven teaching hat from the conference wishing i was back in miami instead of in the uh sunny but cold weather here in michigan right now i actually have been in my classroom for at least a couple hours trying to get some things done because i was gone on thursday and friday and then i'm gone again on monday but i thought i would just check in because I have been here for a while and I haven't really said anything to you guys so hello here I am I honestly am just straightening up the room and like my life again after having um, some subs the past couple days and then I'm finishing up my sub plan so I can print them before I leave but I thought it would be a good time to start my new vlog because <laughs> Here I am in my classroom and I won't be on Monday. So thought this would kind of take the place of Monday's vlog. Also, I did want to show you guys, I just got a new pop socket. I'm part of the Cool People's Club now. I actually have had this OtterBox since I first got my phone. I think my phone is like a iPhone 7 Plus or iPhone 8 Plus maybe. And anyway, so I found this in my storage room. I literally don't know if I ever put it on my phone, but now there it is. And then I ordered this cute little Lily Pulitzer pop socket off of Amazon. It's like a Lily Pulitzer print. And oh my gosh, how did I survive so long without a pop socket? Like, it's so convenient. I love it. So anyways, I'm feeling super cool with that now. And I actually had a pretty traumatic morning because I was going to meet a friend of mine for coffee this morning. And I went out to my car and realized my tire was like completely on the ground, like all the way flat. So I ended up having to go to Discount Tire and they tried to tell me that I'm going to need all new tires. But I like just bought my car back in October. October. and anyways I'm gonna try not to go on and ramble too much because I tend to do that but moral of the story is that right now I'm just driving around with my spare tire because I'm gonna have the actual dealership look at it on Monday so anyways that's kind of a rough start to my morning but I got to hang out with my mom because she went to the discount tire place to um, what I thought she was gonna do is pick me up while my car got new tires but uh, instead we ended up just hanging out and like grabbing lunch and stuff so that was really fun so anyways I am going to finish up my sub plans really quick and then I am going to probably ski daddle pretty quickly because like I said I have been here for a little while and I honestly feel like I haven't even gotten that much accomplished I've been kind of like groggy today I think just from being so tired and like all the traveling I've done recently and stuff so anyways I I am going to head out fairly soon so anyways I will see you guys when I see ya hey there guys so now it is Tuesday it is March 26 and it's 7 20 in the morning and you might be able to tell in my voice I'm not entirely sure but I am sick <laughs> my husband has a sinus infection and he decided to share it with me which was very rude <laughs> um, but I am so excited to be back in my classroom this morning I'm just gonna sit down because I'm already feeling a little winded I'm having a lot of trouble breathing this morning but anyways um, um, my tire popped I think I told you guys about that it popped on Saturday and so right now um, I am waiting to get new tires put on my car and I have to wait till next week Monday uh, so in the meantime Chris is taking me to school so he just dropped me off which means I'm coming at a different time than normal uh, but here I am I am here a little bit later than I usually like to be here but that's okay it's still early so I'll survive today is going to be a really fun day I planned a really fun uh, March Mathness basketball review game and I'm excited for that I have a couple teachers bringing in jerseys for me so I can wear a jersey and we are just gonna have a really good time with that so I'm excited about that I do need to prep a few things this morning though so I'm ready for that and then I have to start giving a math test today. I have to do some dibbles testing today because we have progress monitoring meetings tomorrow before we leave for spring break because we have Friday off for spring break and then we're off all next week. So I do have quite a few things that need to get done, but I am so excited to just be back in my classroom and with my kids again. I miss them seriously so, so, so much. And I just came back to a few cards on my desk saying like, Mrs. Halsey, missed you. And one of them was like, five days felt like five years, which I thought was so sinking cute because that's kind of how I felt too. Like it felt like five years since I've seen my kids. So anyways, if I want to get everything done this morning, I do need to go ahead and get started, but I will try to check in with you guys at some point, maybe during our math game. We'll see. Hey 
Hey there guys, so it is Wednesday now. I had to think about it, but it is Wednesday. Um, I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday after the March Mathness, but it went so well. The kids were super engaged. They seemed to really enjoy it, and I had a ton of fun, so hopefully they all did too. I uh, was exhausted though yesterday after school, and I'm really battling this like head cold right now, and so I just... I'm definitely not at 100%. I'm maybe at like 65%, if even that. And so yesterday, I got home and I literally just crashed on the couch and fell asleep for like a couple hours because I just felt so sick and so tired. But the good news is, <laughs> report cards are due today and luckily I didn't wait until the last minute to do them because then I would have been really sad last night. So anyways, that was nice. I just went through last night after I woke up from my nap and I like made sure everything was filled in that needed to be filled in and all that fun stuff. So anyways, it was nice having those done. I'm definitely grateful to my <laughs> my prior self, my uh my past self, if you will, that I did those in advance because otherwise I would have been miserable last night. So, yay, Kim! Um, also, I kind of made like a little to-do list of things that I want to get done over spring break. I'm not going anywhere for spring break. I plan on spending a lot of time in my classroom and a lot of time just reflecting on my teaching this year and thinking what I want to change and what I can change for the last little bit of the school year. So I went to all those meetings recently that were about technology and education and I'm just feeling really inspired to change up how I'm doing things and I felt really empowered to change things up as well because um, my administration is really uh, making a switch right now from being super like heavy on just using what the curriculum says and like not supplementing to now going into more of like trusting teachers to make the right decisions for their class while still utilizing the curriculum. So anyways, that's a really cool switch to be a part of as a first year teacher because um, yeah, it's just really cool. So anyways, I want to spend a lot of time this spring break just figuring out how to rework some of my times during the day so they are really helping my students and meeting their needs more so than some of the stuff that I feel like I'm currently doing. Not that what I'm doing right now is bad, I just feel like it could be better. And I feel like with teaching you're constantly improving. So anyways, um, that was kind of fun. I just made some lists of things that I want to change and do and I watched some YouTube videos on like Daily Five and yeah, I'm just feeling really inspired right now. So that's good. Um, this morning I do need to make a couple of copies. I'm here right at 7 a.m., which is a good feeling. I love being here right at 7. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I just really, really like it. So anyways, I'm here right at 7. I'm ready to make some copies. Um, I do have to say though, my building is under construction right now. I think I've talked about that, but I don't really remember. Um, and our office is currently like torn apart and so all of the copy machines and everything are in the library right now and then the library is like shut down for the rest of the year so kids can't check out books which is a really big bummer so definitely glad i have such a big classroom library so my kids still have a lot of options uh but anyway so i have to go all the way down to the library which is like pretty far from my room and then what i found yesterday is like at night they actually lock the library door and i don't have a key to that room or to that door i only have a key to the main office so, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get in until 8 when the secretary gets here. So we'll see. But anyways, I'm going to have a great day even though I don't feel very good. Even though I have a lot of like weird stuff going on right here. Because I am with my students today. And any day that I'm with my students is a good day. Because I love being in my classroom. I really do. And being out of my classroom for so many days makes me appreciate being in my classroom that much more. So, Anyways, I will touch base with you guys, hopefully at some point today, but we'll see. <laughs> Good morning, sweet friends. So now it is Thursday. I know I've been averaging about like a clip a day, I feel like. So I'm hoping I can get more <laughs> clips in today, but we'll see. Um, I just have not been feeling well this week. And last night I got home and again slept for like two hours, just totally crashed, took a nap. And then of course that makes sleeping at night not super easy because then I just like slept for two hours and like my body, I usually only get like five to six hours of sleep a night anyways. So that's like half my night's sleep almost. So anyways, 
it has been a little bit of a rough week just not feeling well and trying to carry on and get everything done that I need to get done before I go on break but anyways I am going to get ready for the day I am doing a little mini classroom transformation today nothing big at all it's just going to be the math bakery uh, idea that I got from Pocketful Primary I bought her little um I don't know, pack it, I guess, on TPT and just got a few things ready. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I've got going on right now. So, I tried to set it up yesterday so I could make sure I had everything I needed. So there's four different stations and like I said, I bought this all from Michelle, who's Pocketful of Primary on TPT and YouTube. Those are from the dollar store and I just bought basically the exact same stuff that she had, excuse me, the same stuff that she had in her video. So. Yep, just a few different things going on there. And then my mom made cupcakes and dropped those off yesterday so I can give those to the kids too. So I think that'll be fun. And then I also have like an apron for myself and then I have little aprons for the kids to wear as well. So I think it'll be a fun afternoon. It'll just be for a little bit though. And then we have to get back to testing because I have to have everybody's test in before they leave for spring break. So anyways. Uh, we're surviving out here though, you know, we're maybe not thriving all the time, but we are definitely surviving So anyways, I'm gonna take my jacket off I don't know why I'm still wearing it and I'm gonna put together my classroom and then I will see you guys when I see ya So I have no idea what you guys saw last like literally no clue because Now it is Monday and I accidentally left my camera here on Thursday <laughs> we started spring break on Friday and I think I mentioned it in this vlog like at least once or twice But my car had a flat tire and I couldn't get the tire replaced until today So I wasn't supposed to drive any extra on that like donut or whatever because it wasn't good for my car so anyways, I couldn't come to school all weekend and it was super weird because I go to school literally like every single weekend, which like I didn't really need to because spring break. And I actually planned for all of next week, like when we come back from spring break already. So anything now is like extra fun stuff. So anyways, I really don't know what I filmed already. I haven't edited any of this vlog yet, so I'm gonna do that right now after I finish this clip. But I'm hoping I have like some footage. I know that I only vlogged like once or twice each day, but I did have some B-roll I think of like my classroom, like mini transformations and stuff. And I just kind of wanted to reflect on those. So I did two this week. I did my March Mathness little basketball review, which was for our math test. And then I also did the Math Bakery, which was from Pocketful of Primary on TPT, and she also has a YouTube video about it. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. And they were both super, super fun, you guys. I definitely want to do more in the future. I already have one plan for probably the week that we come back from break, maybe the week after. But there are so many things that I feel like I could incorporate um, like mini classroom transformations into. So anyways, some ideas that I have are like a construction themed one or like a space themed one um, I want to do some sort of like pizzeria so I have lots and lots of different ideas definitely leave me comments below on cool classroom transformation or just like engaging things that you've seen happen maybe here on YouTube or Instagram or whatever I have so many different ideas but part of it is me being a first-year teacher I don't really have a ton of extra money to spend on that kind of stuff right now. So I'm kind of trying to be a little bit frugal with what I'm getting. And I definitely think that like this summer I can plan a little bit more. And I also think this summer I might 
uh, do like a summer school type position because <laughs> I'm gonna be bored otherwise. Like I don't have kids, Chris works, so it's like I don't really wanna be home by myself every day. That's like just not my personality. So I think I might do summer school so that would be like an extra income so then I can afford to buy more fun stuff for my classroom because that's like what I like spending my money on. That's what I care about. And for me, that's like where my heart is obviously. So anyways, I think I'm gonna start planning for those a little bit more this summer and then do them next year But I would like to do maybe one or two more this year So anyways, I'm planning those and then another thing that I'm doing this week is planning a ton of guided reading stuff That's something that I feel I definitely want to improve on in my classroom I'm feeling super inspired still from IDT, which was the impact driven teaching conference um, it was Incredible and listening to Jen Jones speak just made me want to be like this guided reading powerhouse So that's something that's on my agenda for this week and then also just organizing because I think I've told you guys this before But at the end of the school year like literally on the last day of school I have to have this room completely empty because my building is under construction right now Like it actually is under construction right now The whole parking lot was full when I just got here and it's spring break. I'm the only teacher <laughs> but the whole parking lot was full because they're like demolishing the gym right now. <laughs> so if you can hear like machinery in the background, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's just crazy. I have to have every single thing moved out by the end of the school year, which is kind of <laughs> frightening, <laughs> but it's gonna be fine. And then I'm gonna have to store it all summer. I think I'm gonna get a storage unit. And then when I come back in the fall, I'm actually gonna have a new classroom. <sighs> so I'm a little bit stressed. I'm sweating a little bit thinking about that. But this week, I think on spring break, I'm going to try to do some reorganizing and see if there's anything I can take home and just make it easier for myself in June when it's time to be out. So lots of fun stuff happening this week. Also, my nails are bright yellow. I just got this fun color from Ulta the other day for spring. There was frost on my windshield this morning, but my nails are yellow. So I don't know. I'm confused. Anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling now. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Definitely leave me a comment below and let me know, are you on spring break right now? Do you have spring break? Is that like a thing for you? Because I know that there's a lot of people who aren't teachers who watch my videos. Um, just let me know what's going on in your life. I would love to hear it. Leave that comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already. I would love to have you back. Let me know if you guys want to see a vlog from this week while I'm on spring break. We'll see. I could potentially do that because I'm going to be in my classroom every single day. So you might be able to see something fun. So let me know in a comment below if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. And then I will try to do that throughout the week. Remember that you guys are incredibly beautiful and loved. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.